better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here on this one. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion, and boom. You'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Stepping in now, Billy Butler on Butler swings and sends a drive high and deep out to left field, and it's gone. He liked the first pitch he saw and deposits it over the wall. Solo home run for Billy Butler. And the A's are on the board first, one to nothing. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. On to first, and Tulowitzki grounds out here, two away. Caleb Jones will dig in here, and they'll likely pitch carefully to him as he's coming off that two home run contest just 24 hours ago. First offering on the way. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. And sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out, inning over. Nelson Cruz will get his first opportunity now. 0 for 4 in Wednesday's ball game. Now the first pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Well, one good fastball deserves another as he jumps ahead 0-2 now. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And you know, I think it's going to be important that when guys get their pitches, they take advantage. There it looked like he was taken all the way, and he may not get another pitch that catches that much of the plate. Now here it comes. Goes the other way, and he got a lot of it out to deep left. And two quick outs here in the second. Justin Ruggiano will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. A little bit of hang time there to that curveball. I don't think that's exactly where he's going to want to throw that pitch going forward. It worked out right there, but he better find a little extra snap on that pitch in the future. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Mariners are down in order. They still trail 1-0. David Ortiz will lead things off here as they'll have 5, 6, and 7 due up to start the home second. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Pretty dangerous here for a first baseman. This throws high, and it's to the home plate side of the bag. So when he leaves his feet, he's really exposing himself to that runner coming down the line. The overthrow, that was bad enough, but a collision there would have really been bad news. Matt Carpenter will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Leaning and he makes the catch. Oh, he took it right out of the dugout for the second out. Wow. 
Stephen Vogt will stand in as one of the stars from yesterday's ball game as he had three hits in the victory. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And the runner is in to score from third on what was not a good throw at all. Bryce Harper will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. First pitch coming. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And Smith will put this one away with ease to retire the side. Seth Smith will stand in now to lead things off. 7-8-9 and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. In there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man, nothing and one. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. McCutcheon comes on now and he has it one down. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off and he makes the play easily. Logan Morrison comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. Jeez. Finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. About time, boys. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. and oh. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Uh, could have been 3-1. and one. Instead, it's 2-2. Two and two. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Mike Zanino will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. He set, now the pitch. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. And there to grab it is Tulowitzki for route number two. Willie Bloomquist will get a second shot at it now. He was called out on strikes to open up the ball game. A big roundhouse curveball in there for strike one. I'm not sure that pitch would break a pane of glass. That is very tough for a big league hitter to wait that out. Well, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. He's set. Now the pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. One left for Seattle. They're down two to nothing. Andrew McCutcheon makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Andrew McCutcheon. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. And they'll just tag him out along the first base line. And for a first baseman, if the most direct route is to just tag the guy, that's what you do. There's no sense in trying to throw it to your pitcher or your second baseman covering, especially if you don't have to. Now a swing and a fly ball. And foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Here oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game. And the A's lead it now 3 to nothing. But right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Caleb Jones will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. 
And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Now here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. The A's add on to their lead with the solo home run. We're through three here in the East Bay. It's now 3-0 Oakland. Now here's the first pitch. And that's off his leg on the mound. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be OK to try and continue. Now this is out in front, maybe tough to get to. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first through the shoe route. Nelson Cruz will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. On the ground towards second. On to Butler in time, and there are two away. Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base. But with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Kyle Seeger is at the plate as he looks at ball one. The next pitch. Fouled back. Here's Griffin on one and one. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time, one and two. And just 69 miles an hour on that breaking ball. That's barely moving. And here's the ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Puig is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. David Ortiz will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there, it's short. And an unlucky start to the fourth that time as the leadoff man is set down. Yasiel Puig will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Three runs, just two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Ah, uh, ran it in on him there as this ball's on the ground to third. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Matt Carpenter come in now with two away. And I've got to say, it may be about time to start taking a pitch or two. Yeah, I mean, he is just running right through these guys. They've been getting themselves out left and right. He's hardly even broken a sweat out there. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. But foul. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner towards second. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Well, he had some high stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner. He's on his way to a much needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. Come set, now the pitch. Driven the other way out to deep left field. And that one's out of here. What another nickel in the merry-go-round. This one is getting ugly. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, and the A's add on more. It's now a 5-0 game. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right-hander's up to throw. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a liner, but this is foul near the seats. The 1-1. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Another good inning for the A's. Maybe the best fans in baseball right there, and they're loving it at the five and dime. We're back to the Coliseum right after this. Hitting off for 